Good morning, everybody. It's Shelly from Galveston, Texas, down here at the beach for a while. I am here to tell you about how to export your contacts and other data on the new LinkedIn. And if you haven't noticed, they've totally changed the interface. Now, what you're going to get when you download this .csv file is all the information you see there. People's first name, last name, company, etc. And don't forget, this is your information and your contacts are the absolute lifeblood of your business. So you want to go through this and make sure you do this on a recurring basis, maybe quarterly, to make sure those contacts are on your computer and not on in the cloud at LinkedIn. So here are the steps which I, I'm going to take you through when we go live, but basically you're going to click on, uh, be on your home page and your network. You're going to see your connections number, how many you have. You're going to click on that. You're going to click manage, sync, and import contacts, and then export. Now there's two types of files. There's a fast file that'll take about 10 minutes, and then there's a, fast, a file with other data that takes a little bit longer, 24 hours. You will click request to archive and in about 10 minutes you'll get the um, email to whatever email LinkedIn has for you. Um, it'll be a zip file and it will include that .csv file with your connections. And remember, take the time. This, this is the lifeblood of your business and you want to make sure you do this. So let me take you over there. Um, and by the way, here's the link that will walk you through how to do this. So I thought I'd include it on this so you can come back if you want. But let me take you over. And by the way, thank you to Bryn Tillman, who happens to be my guru on LinkedIn and who I learn a lot from. Um, here I am, I'm on my home page, and I'm gonna go over and click my network. And when I'm on my network, I'll see how many connections I have over here on the left side. I'll click on my connections. And then it's kind of hard to see. They don't make a big advertisement of this, but right up at the top now it's kind of hidden. Manage synced and imported contacts. You will click on that. It opens up the next screen. And this is showing you your synced and imported, but over on the right, advanced actions, export contacts. You want to click on export contacts. It'll open up a screen. And now this is that link I sent you. It would take you directly to here get an archive of your data and there's the click for the fast file and then of course if you want fast file plus other data you'll get two bundles in 24 hours and all you have to do and I'm not going to do this but request archive start off maybe with the fast file you'll get your connections contacts etc and you'll be given a link to download them by clicking request archive. So there you go. This is something that you should be doing on a regular basis, maybe at, at worst case quarterly. And for some of you, you might decide you want to do this um, monthly. If you want to know what's coming up in Houston as far as classes, if you go to ShellyRoth.com, there's a calendar icon. It'll take you there. If you need to reach me and are interested in private speaking engagements or training sessions, sroth at ShellyRoth.com. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you next time.